Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are now counting down the top 5 worst tech tree tier 10s. Um, last time we did the uh, top 5 best tech tree tier 10s and now I'm going to do the top 5 worst. Well, there's one thing I want to say first. I personally don't think any tier 10s are actually bad and you shouldn't go for them. There's just certain ones that aren't as good, obviously. there's You can't have everything exactly the same, then almost everything would be pointless. But there are some that aren't really the most, the good, the best. Um, so th these are going to be these. You can have different opinions about what you think isn't as good. And um, there are one and two in here. I honestly don't even think are really bad. They're just some lower, lower statistic tanks and stuff like that. And uh, some lower performing ones. So let's jump right into the video, guys. So sitting on the number five spot, we have the Grill 15. Now, personally, I don't think this tank is bad. I Most good players would say this tank is not bad at all. The only thing is it's a very hard tank to play, which makes it non-noob friendly. So this is probably one of the tanks you really don't want to go for first because you have paper armor and you will just get absolutely wrecked if you don't know how to play it correctly. Like I said before, I don't think it's a bad tank. I'm looking forward to when I get this. I don't think it's bad. It's just one of the uh, it's one of the harder tanks to play, and that's why I put it at the number five spot. Next, we have another German tank, and we're gonna we're gonna have the VK seventy two point oh one K. Also, I don't really think this is that bad. It's more skilled base, which this is a pretty hard tank to play because you are so slow, and you have the worst tier ten DPM. So you just gotta know how to play um, with that. The few tips I have on this is like play peekaboo, um, try to use your armor. You have good armor. Be careful. Uh, the cheeks of your turret are very weak, and your bottom plate's actually really pretty strong. Uh, basically, that's. It's just. I mean, look at that poor poor DPM. I mean, it's just got bad DPM and bad mobility. That's why I put it at number four. Personally, don't think it's really that bad. Now we are moving on to number three, which we are going to the American Tech Tree, and we are going to the T110E4, which also, this tank isn't really that bad. It's just, it, it can use a buff. I mean, the only difference from the E3 in it is it's got a turret, but you trade in your armor for it, and I think, I don't know if the reloads are different. Like, you do have a pretty long reload, and your, I mean, your penetration isn't bad, uh, I mean, you've got good penetration, but uh, the reload, I mean, just 14.77 seconds. Then you're slow. Your turret traverses slow. Your hatch is really easily it's pinned, and it's huge, and that's why I'm pinning it at number three. I think it could use a buff, definitely. I think Wargaming should buff the uh, the armor on it, either the armor or the speed on it, and then it'd be a great tank. We are now moving to the number two spot, which is going to be in the Chinese tech tree. It is the WZ113GFT. Now, the only reason I'm putting this on here is because, honestly, like I said, I don't think any tank is bad. It's just this one is kind of not the most used. And it's just, I think it's, I mean, I don't think it's bad, really. I'm looking forward to getting it. I had the tier eight, but it's just kind of. I mean, look how much you got to unlock it. It's slow. It's not the most noob-friendly tank. You do have good armor, but you're slow. Your gun isn't that accurate. Um, your reload's slow. Your DPM is bad. Your mobility, you can be COD'd easy. It's just, I mean, it's if you know how to play it right, just like any tank, it can be great. So now we're going to move on to the worst tier 10 tank, which is, you know it, the FE1 215B183. You, you know it. You already knew it. This tank just got nerfed way too hard by Wargaming. I think it should definitely get a mobility and camo buff. Um, Don't know if the... I mean, the gun isn't bad. Besides for being really trolly annoying sometimes, it's not too bad. But you have no armor. Your DPM sucks. Your... Um, Penetration and alpha are great, but your reload sucks, your accuracy sucks, your elevation and depression sucks, you're, you're slow, like, you know, 
about everything except for your penetration and alpha on this tank suck and hash. So, guys, that's what I think are the worst tech tree tier 10s. Like I said, I don't really think any of them are actually not worth going for. Because basically all tier 10s are good. Let's all be honest with each other. There aren't really that any like bad tier 10s. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.